Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. I am going to restock my market table offerings because I've got a market coming up at the end of the month and I still haven't restocked from Christmas market season. So today we're going to climb up into the wood rack and grab down a bunch of hardwood of various types and colors and uh, we're going to rip it up and glue it back together and make some charcuterie boards. Char charcuterie boards that's what they're called right they're like cutting boards but you don't cut on them you just serve cheeses and meats and stuff on them Char charcuterie it's french it's probably like charcuterie or something i don't know <laughs> anyway we're gonna make however many of those i can grab a couple of chunks of wood out of the stock and make relatively easily in one push so Charcuterie boards, all right. <laughs> I'm not making fun of French people. If you're a French people, I'm not making fun of you. French people are awesome. Well, okay, every group of people has jerks in it. There's probably French jerks too, but moving on to the <laughs> to the wood. So, as always, we start by picking out wood over at the wood racks. Uh, yeah, I've got, I'm getting a fairly decent collection of wood right now. We got some walnut, we got some cherry, we got some maple, and we got some paduke for this round. Uh, start by getting one edge nice and flat to ride against the table saw fence. And get some arm exercise while I'm at it. And then we cut everything to length with the cross cut uh, Miter gauge. I didn't really feel like grabbing the, the whole sled down to do that. I don't use the sled much these days. I should probably get back to that. Then I put on my brand new Freud Industrial uh, Blue Line Rip Blade the, for the first time for this project and uh, pretty happy with it actually. Then we uh, clean up the opposing edge that I didn't hand plane. And then we flip them over and we do the side that I did hand plane just to uh, make sure that it is perfectly at 90 degrees and nice and clean and ready to be glued once I get all the strips ripped. Strips ripped, that's fun to say. Uh, and then we go ahead and do that. And I just kind of did approximate size strips of wood that I felt like cutting. No measurement, no, you know, I need a strip this wide or anything. Did some thicker uh, walnut ones, some thinner maple ones, some thin paduke ones, and then I used the cherry boards as sort of the base for this round of charcuterie boards. And then we just start inserting the pieces and figuring out designs that we like. Well, I say we as though you guys had anything to do with it, which you did not. Uh, those first two actually ended up being coasters. They were kind of like, oh, I don't know what to do with these pieces, so I just made them into approximately four inch wide ones to make poster sets out of. And then glue, 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 and clamp, and there we go. Basically at this point, you can see what uh, what we're going for. Take it out of clamps, clean off the, the chunks of glue because those aren't great for planer blades. Uh, so get those cleaned up, and then you flatten one side so that it'll register nice and clean on uh, the bed of the planer later, which you will see momentarily. There we go. Whip them all through the planer, get them even and flat and crispy. They're not really, well, I guess they're crispy. You wouldn't want to bite one. Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, then I, uh, I was messing around with some, some ideas. I've seen some people cutting some curves into their charcuterie boards uh, so I kind of was looking at you know a new idea for me anyway uh, just kind of drawing some curves on there and seeing what I liked and then I went and cut it out on the bandsaw and uh, yeah they ended up with a pretty cool design it's a little bit wasteful because it's nothing really you can do with that extra junk of wood once you take it out of there um, but it gives it a nice little handle and uh, little visual interest anyway and you don't lose that much room I mean you maybe one or two pieces of meat or cheese or whatever whatever it's it's a little bit more work and it's a little 
more wasteful, so I probably won't do a ton of this type going forward. But they do look pretty cool. You can kind of see what I'm going for there. Um, then over to the spindle sander, clean up those uh, those bits. And uh, yeah, I was happy, like I said, I was happy with the design. But it is, I don't think you can charge enough more for one that has some little funky cutouts in it the, than it's worth to actually do them. Here we're resawing those uh, um, coaster blanks into coasters. We just uh, whip them through and then lay them. Whip through the pass up, lay them down even. They end up a uh, little, uh, somewhere between a half and a quarter, eh, maybe three sixteenths kind of thing. Um, and then make them all even, make them all square. They're about four inch by four inch. And I just put little, uh, like, cork, self-adhering cork feet on the bottom of them after they're finished and make a little base to put them on. Uh, then we go back to the charcuterie boards. These ones I just uh, set the table saw at about, I don't know, 30 degrees, something like that, and uh, just bevel all the edges. Keeps you from having to put a, like, a finger grip in them because you can actually pick them up if they're beveled on the sides. And then we do a little round over on all those ones, sand everything up, and uh, the coasters get lacquer and the charcuterie boards, because they are for food contact, get oil and wax. Oh, and this is the good part here, because I left this one full length almost, because ooh, just watching finish go on fancy woods is awesome. And you really see the, uh, the definition of the different woods when you get the finish on there. Doesn't that look awesome? That looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Beauty. And you do, I did one coat, let it, uh, nice thick coat, let it sit on there, buffed it off, and did a second coat later. Then I got my little Lazy Susan out on the porch because I was spraying and uh, did the coasters. That's just spray on clear lacquer. I think that was uh, gloss but it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, lacquer for the coasters, oil and wax combo, the Howard's Feed and Wax I used again for the uh, um, Sharky reports. And that's it, that's all. That's how it turns out, a little base there was just with some dowels. Works good. All right, well, there's my new stack of charcuterie boards. I've got a nine pack of charcuterie boards for the next market. Hopefully I can move a couple of them, but not all of them, because I do not want to make another big batch of charcuterie boards for the market that is a month after that one. Uh, and then hopefully after that one, I have, still haven't sold all of them, because I kind of want to keep one. I want to actually, I don't want to tell you which one I want to keep, because then my luck, somebody will see this and they'll come to, somebody from town will come and just buy it, and then I'll... Actually, but honestly, I'd have, be happy with any of them. I uh, I like these new designs. They got like a little handle piece on them, and they look pretty neat. Uh, but they are significantly more work as well. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's the new batch. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Now i got to make some different stuff for markets. So, check out the next video for whatever the hell I decide to make other than these. It's just some little spreaders with some scraps that I've got laying around. That's uh, that might be pretty easy. That's probably what I'll do. Spreaders, little cheese things to go with the boards as added value, value added cheapo things. All right. Anyway, bye. Thanks for now. Thanks for now. Thanks for now. Ugh.